Good morning, everybody. It's great to see you here this morning on this nice, sunshiny day. We have visitors and new friends and old friends, and it's just a blessing to be able to worship together um, on this Sunday. Speaking of old friends, here's one. The announcements were running before um, worship this morning. I hope you paid attention to them. The flowers this morning are given to the glory of God and in honor of Harper Shankle's seventh birthday. I don't know if Harper realized that she was getting flowers today, but she did. There you go. That's a special thing. Family game night is, um, you saw the screen for that. The sign up sheet, if you didn't sign up for it, is in the back. And um, I ask that you would sign your name and how many are coming, whether you're bringing a game or not, and um, you know, whatever you want to bring for dessert. The other foods are being uh, provided. Emily, do you want to say something about Bible study? Yeah, we are going to start a woman's Bible study on March um, 6th at 6.30 in the glory room. Um, we will supply everything just praying you and your Bible. So it looks like it's going to be fun. It's Jesus and the women. So um, hence, it's a woman's Bible study. We'll, we'll figure something out for you guys. Are there any other announcements that need to be made, David? I have a question. What time is the uh, cemetery for me? 6.30. 6.30. 6.30. Okay. <laughs> okay. I put that in, Kenny, but you never told me which day for sure. That's okay. So I, I appointed the day. That works. Does that work for you? I think David would be the one on your way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> He was only, you were the only one who didn't respond. Respond to what? Lost in the mail. There you go. Other announcements that need to be made? None? Okay, I'm going to ask Chris to come up here and um, give us a little bit of an update. Um, as you look around, you can see that we now sit at Gloria's Sanctuary that's been newly painted and appointed and um, gives us a new lease on life and Chris is going to bring us up to speed with that. I'm not sure why Terry always asks me to do this, uh, you know, but a few days ago she asked me to just give a little update on the painting project, how we got this far. Um, as most of you know, I like to talk but I'm not a real good public speaker. So uh, please bear with me here. I brought myself up a few notes here. Uh, <laughs> told, me, told me to keep it short. <laughs> With all that being said, uh, the last couple of days I thought about it and I, I couldn't come up with any uh, how to get into where we got to the point we're at. Uh, Two o'clock this morning, <clears throat> there's one word that popped in my head. Spirit. Yes, <clears throat> a suggestion. A suggestion was made to the property managers way back in 2020. The, the sanctuary, the painting wasn't looking good. It's starting to flake off. Um, basically, they came. You know, we came together, the property managers, and started discussing it. Want to know what we could do? You know, many different options. Um, so. We started the talking process. That's how it all started. S suggestion. P. We propose it to the session. Uh, we proposed our concerns about the sanctuary, the way it was starting to look, how we were going to pay for the project. Um, we shared our ideas, maybe our visions, and we opened it up for discussion. That brings us to I. Uh, initiated the talks. We talked to different contractors. We talked about different ways to be getting done, uh, different time zones. You know, we didn't want to be without the sanctuary. We wanted to try and work it together with everybody. And then the biggest talk, 
was raising money. How are we going to be able to afford a major project? Then we got to R. We see the bids. We put it out for bids. Um, wasn't an easy task is what I anticipated. Um, first of all, we couldn't get anybody to even want to come bid it. So we ended up getting two bids on it. Um, both contractors were totally different. We had it narrowed down to the one we thought we were going to go with, the best price, the best ideas. Uh, after we had discussed it, maybe we were going to go with that, the following week they went to their bid. So we right back to the drawing board again. Um, we were down to one bid. A few of us didn't feel comfortable with that bid. It was just too vague. We weren't sure exactly how it could be processed. So we put it back out. Um, and lo and behold, we found a contractor who was willing to come in and bid it. So, and that was the gentleman, or the two gentlemen, that came in and did it. Uh, chucks. They came in, they, they explained how they were going to do it. Um, we decided to go with their bid. And then, uh, after receiving a bid, they decided they wanted to do the entryway, the coat room, the ramp, and going down the steps. And all that still came in cheaper than what the first bid we had for just a sanctuary. So we decided to go ahead and award him the bid. That gives us to the next topic. Invited the congregation. We invited the congregation to be challenged, helping raise the money, helping support the project. <clears throat> but more important, we invited everyone <clears throat> to enjoy the beauty of this church. Not just the beauty of the church, but the people inside the church. You are the ones that make the church. Not the laws, not the pain, but what you guys all have to offer. And then the tea, togetherness. Damn. Togetherness, and I had a hard time with the tea because I wanted to do like teamwork, total project, whatever, but togetherness popped in my head. A little over three weeks ago, I got the phone call from the contractor. Uh, the only thing that we had asked is we wanted to get through the Christmas season. We didn't want to do anything around that time. So three weeks ago, I got the call. He was planning on sometime in February. We weren't sure. Three weeks ago, I got the phone call that, hey, we're ready to start next week. And that was on a Thursday. <clears throat> I was nervous because I thought, well, the property manager is going to be busy. <laughs> So I stood up here three weeks ago and I asked the congregation for help. And in less than 40 minutes, we had this sanctuary, the paint room, or the coat room and everything ready for the contractors. That's true togetherness. <clears throat> um, we came together, we got ready to paint. They came in, they did their job. And last week, we came back together, put everything back to where it's ready for today. <clears throat> We put it all back together. We did everything together. We came together to raise the money. And <clears throat> I'm proud to say right now that the project is totally funded and paid for. All we have to do is raise the money. <laughs> and with that being said, on just a side note, um, getting prepared for it, I met the alarm company here one day. And we lowered the smoke alarms down so they could paint underneath it. But in that process, while we was doing it, and uh, I won't tell my mother how we actually made some ceiling, but she worries too much anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> but in that process, while that contractor was here, we got talking. And his church is now in the process of painting their sanctuary. It's out in Evansburg. They're going to be out of their sanctuary for a complete month. And their project... Our project is just a little over 13000 is what it costs for all the painting we did. That was the bid. Theirs was over 75000 is what their price for their sanctuary, just their sanctuary, was going to be. So after he said that, I was really pleased. <laughs> but I would like to just conclude now. I'd like to thank all the property managers, all the session members, all the deacons, both past and present, for all their support, all their help. Um, I'd like to thank Terry for keeping us together. 
And there's that word again, together. Um, the most important, I'd like to thank all of you. Not only the members of the congregation, but whether you've been here 100 years or this is your first time coming. Without you, we are not a church. The walls, the paint, that don't make us. It's you people that make us. And now, the biggest challenge of all is like to keep everybody, keep the spirit. Thank you. Jesus Christ, 
our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the foundation and cornerstone of our faith, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please stand and join in this first hymn, The Church is My Foundation, number 442, in the blue hymnal or on the screen. Continually, as we live our lives, we struggle with petty jealousies, 
in the work world. We strive to be good parents and good children, but we are tempted by the world in which we live. We want material goods and a sense of power that nobody needs. God, be with us in our struggle as you were with your son in the desert. Help us to be open to your leading and to your word as our example. Give us strength to stay on the upward path. And when we do stray, remind us that you will grant us forgiveness if we repent and turn to you. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Return to the Lord your God, for God is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love. Turn towards God in the confidence that through Jesus Christ, your sins and mine are forgiven. Amen. Everybody feel welcome here at Bethlehem. 